truth of the matter is, I've quit my job. I've quit. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. Also, apologies for the mess behind me. I will explain later. Um, it's quite important. I will explain later. But uh, right now, it is Wednesday and it is nearly 11 o'clock in the morning. We are on the low loader. We're just gonna go to Filton, pick up a a full kit of tarmacking kit. Uh, we've got to take that to Bista, and then from Bista we've got to go to Banbury, pick up a proper John Deere tractor, and then from there um, we've got to take that to Newbury, and then we could be finished for the day. So it's it's going to be uh, one of those shifts where we don't know what time we're going to finish exactly. Just, put, fill it, just filling in the rest of my uh, checkbook, which I've started but I haven't finished. I haven't put all the details in and I haven't signed it. Excellent. Right, so. Yeah, so we don't know what time we're going to be anywhere other than the filtering job because I'm going to be there for about 12 o'clock, but I've been told that they're not going to finish until about 2 pm. But I've been asked to get there early in case I do finish early so now I can get it on and get gone. Um, but I could be there for an hour or two just waiting for the machinery, machinery to be um, finished with being used. But um, I'll explain why the bunker's a mess when we're there. But um, yeah, we're on our way to Filton, on our way to Bristol, Filton. Let's get going. I've been waiting all my life for someone like you, like you. We are now in Bristol, in Filton. Uh, we're about a mile away from the postcode uh, that I was given. The problem is... This car's not letting me out. <laughs> oh, he's letting me out. There's a car transport up in front, so I just wanted to pull out to lean to. Come on, mate. We've all spotted it. Oh, there's a cyclist there as well. Yeah, no, the, pro the problem is, is um, it looks like it's quite a large compound, i.e lots of stuff there so um it might be difficult to find i'm not sure we'll have a go um okay. just gonna pull out yeah okay. um <laughs> sorry um i'm not sure i can um show the company um but what i can tell you is i'm picking up a full kit of tarmacking and it's bright yellow so take that as you will um that's what i've got to look out for bright yellow tarmac kit and uh, I don't know exactly what it is I'm picking up. I'm hoping it's the skid steer paver and roller rather than the paver, roller and street master. That's what I'm hoping. Um, I also believe it might be the Rolls Royce place I'm going to. I'm not sure, that's Rolls Royce there. So I am now just keeping an eye out for uh, yellow machines. May may have saw something right over there, I'm not sure. That's not where the sun has taken me. Of course, a lot of uh, a lot of machinery is yellow in the uh, 
construction industry like dumper vehicles, dumper trucks and stuff like that. There's some yellow stuff over there as well. Could that be it? But um, it looks like we, we're going into some sort of industrial area, quote, quote, industrial area. So I should be able to park up and have a wander around and have a look. Been told it's not gonna be ready until about two o'clock and it's just gone 12 o'clock now. So I am early, so I should be able to just park up and uh, have a wander really, have a wander around and see if I can find it. But I'm gonna drive around first and uh, and then go from there. There's a yellow machine over there, but I can't quite make out what it is. Not sure that's mine or not. Yeah, see at first I was like, yellow machine, easy to spot. Actually, there's <laughs> loads of yellow machines. We're gonna go right down here. Hopefully we can find it. Green light. There's loads of yellow machines. Why was I thinking yellow would be easy to spot? Well it is, but... It is Buckingham as well. I'm going... Ah, I think I see it. I see the paver. I think it's in this site on the right. Yeah, I see it. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna spin around a park up here then. I see it, nice. Are you just gonna pull out as well? Jesus Christ, just spin around mate, it's fine. That is a wild dirty site. There's a jet wash there, washing out vehicles. I'm not gonna go in just yet. I'm literally, I'm gonna park here actually. Let them know, let them know I'm here, because they might just bring the machines out to me, I don't know. But at least I'm here. Oh, that was, that was easy. That was nice and easy. We'll just spin around so we're facing the right way in case we do stay on the road. And if we do have to go into sight, then we will. I mean, I'm gonna walk in anyway. Oh, big bump. I can't stop after the site because that uh, thing stopped there. No, I will. I will stop after the site. So then if they do bring it out, then it, I'm ready to go then. Hopefully they can just bring it out to me. That's the plan. I'll just park here. Ooh. Yeah, I'll park here, put the ramps down. Well, I'll go speak to them first. If they say, yeah, just stay here, then I'll put the ramps down and then um, load it straight on, innit? Lovely jubbly. Right, uh, let's go see them, see what they've got to say. Okay, situation report is this. Uh, that site is proper muddy. Um, to the extent that every vehicle coming out, even the dumper trucks coming out, are getting their wheels washed one about to pass me now um, everything is getting washed in and out well not in just out and, uh, causing a bit of a queue if I'm honest with you as well so uh, we're not going in we're staying out here which is good uh, just put my Anderson lead in if I just show you look hopefully you can see so this is the Anderson lead it's what powers uh, everything on the back so plug that in like so we now have power going to the tailgate so that's good uh right what i need real quickly is a triangle one of these triangles i've got two of these because uh it's going to be going at the back of the ramps so then no one uh, gets injured or anything like that So, just got to take this down. These are the poles that hold the tailgate up. Oh, 
one either side. I'm going to also drop the legs. I'll, uh, I'll show you on the other side what I mean by that. Okay, same again on this side. It's getting really busy. It wasn't this busy when I first arrived. And now it's getting really, really busy. To the extent I'm wondering if I should actually put my uh, put these ramps down or not. Yeah, I am putting it down still. Anyway, what I mean by dropping the legs is this here, look. So you pour this out, and a leg drops down. I then lower the suspension on the trailer, so that nearly touches the ground. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Um, doesn't matter, because basically when, when I put the paver on, load up with the paver, um, it's a lot of weight on the wheels. So, uh, putting the legs down which means that uh, all the weight then goes on the legs rather than the tyre so you might be able to see slowly going down look so that's that right Ooh. what I want to do now is uh, put the triangle out Yes, they're letting people in and out now, that's good. That's good. So yeah, let's put the uh, triangle out first so people know to stay away. Not get so close. There we go, that'll do there. Not sure if you can see that actually. And now I put the ramps down. Because there's now a triangle warning that uh, there's a danger. <laughs> so uh, hopefully nothing will uh, hit me. I hope anyway. We go. And I'll just show you what that looks like now from uh, other people's perspective coming up towards me. There you go. So there's triangle out. Wind is blowing it a little bit. Let me just uh, kick it back round. So yeah, there's a triangle out now. Warning. There's plenty of space to overtake. Loads of space here. There's just to be safe in it. And when they're done, hopefully straight onto the bed. Straight on. But uh, as you can see, the legs aren't quite touching the floor. But when you uh, put stuff on the trailer, start lowering up, that will touch the floor. And then uh, it just uh, means that the weight then isn't going on the tires. So that's good. We're done. So far, we've just got to now wait for the equipment. We've got a skid steer, we've got a a paper and a roller and that's all got to go to Bista been there before uh, there's a site and it's sort of like the entrance to the site is in a petrol station <laughs> um, and last time I went the the site was closed it was really late I went the site was closed so in the end I had to stop in the petrol station block the HTV pump or the access to the HTV pump drop down the uh, the tailgate and spend 15 minutes unloading there and uh, putting it at the back of the petrol station so it wasn't in the way. I was in the way whilst unloading but the equipment wasn't in the way. So hopefully we can get to that site before they close. But anyway let's jump back in the cab and then uh, I can tell you something very very important. Right 
Okay, Luke, so why is your bunk a mess? Why do you have all these bags? Uh, okay. Truth of the matter is, I've quit my job. I've quit. <laughs> it's, uh, I've handed in my notice. Uh, noticed, <laughs> noticed. I've handed in my notice. Um, Christmas Eve is my last day working for JK Transport. I um, I don't have another job to go to either. Uh, so I don't know what's happening. I don't know the plan for my future, for the channel. I, uh, I don't know anything. <laughs> All I know is I've had enough with this job. And uh, I'm I'm the youngest person working for this company with the youngest family, yet I see them the least amount. I'm working god awful hours like 1 a.m. starts, 2 a.m. starts, working all throughout the day. Just recently, I've been doing night shifts. So I'm starting at like four or five in the afternoon while my girlfriend's still at work. I'm then working until four or five in the morning or something, I don't know. When, and then I go to bed. <laughs> so I don't see my girlfriend. She wakes up, she goes to work. And then I then have to go to work when she comes back from work. So I don't see her. I haven't seen my family doing the night work. Same with the kids. Like, I'm, I'm asleep when they're home and then I get up and I've got to go to work. And when I get back, they're in bed. It's like, I just don't see my family doing the night work. Uh, and I'm doing all these hours and I'm doing nights away. And I said to my boss, I said, I just, I don't mind doing two nights, three nights a week. That's fine. I don't want to do the nights out. Uh, sorry, the, uh, the nights, working nights because then I'm sleeping during the day, um, which really messes you up. It, I hate it, I've done night work before and it just messes you up emotionally, physically, like you don't talk to anyone because everyone else is asleep, it's so unsociable, it's bad for you. And I'm not getting paid extra to do the night work. I'm getting paid the same rate and then the bonus for doing low load of work, which I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but uh, yeah, so I, I asked the boss, I said, I need to be home more often and I do not want to do low loader work anymore. The low loader work itself is all right. But, I, and I don't want to like insult anyone or burn bridges, but the person we're doing the work for, if I'm being brutally honest with you, I just don't like doing it for him. Like, it's like getting blood from a stone. You, you're fighting for the information all the time. Like, okay, where am I picking it up? Newbury, okay, where in Newbury? Oh, I'll send it over to you later. Well, you send it over to me now so I can search it and look it up and I'm planning and I'm... I just feel like I never know what I'm doing day to day. Uh, and I'm always stressing about it and I shouldn't be stressing about it at home. The, the very few occasions I have off and I'm with my girlfriend and my family and I'm worrying about work and what I'm doing next and where I'm going and what I'm picking up and how I'm gonna chain it down. And it's just something I don't need and I, I just need to get out of it. So I've, I asked my boss to take me off of it a couple of months ago and I'm still doing it. And I sent them a text the other day saying, you, you need to get me off or I'm, I'm going to have to hammer notice in. I don't want to hammer notice in, but if, if this is what I've got to do from now on, then I'm going to have to. And um, the reply was basically, that is all I've got. So he's a small company, he's a small business. He can only get what he can get and this is what he has. So, yeah, it's difficult. I mean, from my perspective, there are, he does have work on that I would like to do, but other drivers are doing it. So, I mean, I'm not gonna force another driver out of their job. But if, 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 uh, if I was off to do that instead, then I would have would do it. But no, he, he said, lay a load of work is what I'm doing. So, and I don't wanna burn bridges, because I like my boss, I get on with my boss. Might even end up coming back one day, I don't know, but I've handed in my notice. Christmas Eve is my last day working for JK Transport. Um, 
but I don't have another job to go to. So I need to find another job in January. But yeah, it's um, scary, scary times. I'd technically be unemployed over Christmas. And like I said, I don't know where that leaves me with the YouTube channel. The new place may not allow me to do videos. So I may not be able to re release new videos, but I, I could still like maybe re-release old videos that you perhaps haven't seen with commentary over the top. Or I can do some react videos or... Yeah, I don't know. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I've quit my job. I've handed in my notice. I just want a job where I'm home more often. I work 60 to 70 hours a week. Do you know what I mean? I'm doing 12 hour shifts minimum, 15 hour shifts as many times as I can. Minimum rests in between shifts. I'll give you an example. The uh, the other day, well, yeah, Monday, I finished work at like 1 a.m. in the morning. And the next day I was back at work at 10 a.m. <laughs> it's not even the next day. <laughs> It's literally go home, go to sleep, get up, go to work. Uh, and it's just it's just stressing me out. I just need I need a change. I need to get out of here. So unfortunately, the reason why all the bags, the long story short, the reason I got the bags is because I've got to clear my truck out. Um, I just want to thank my boss for taking me on because he didn't have to take me on I had no experience and I made mistakes and he had every opportunity to get rid of me but he didn't he kept me on but I just need to be home more spend time with my family as I, I said a few times now Right, let's, uh, let's get my truck ready. Start clearing it out. Right, that's it. We've uh, got unloaded. The full kit is on. Ugh. We now need to head towards Vista. ETA there is just after 4 pm, which is nice. Just to build my air levels up a little bit. Right. Destination has already been put into the sat nav. Hence, I know how long it's going to be. So we're there. We're still on here. And uh, I just need to put the Bluetooth back onto my phone so I can take hands-free calls. There we go. Right. Excellent. We're off. Let's say goodbye to the gang. Beacons off. <laughs> right, let's get crack a in. Make our way to Vista. Get this off, and then uh, we'll go from there. See you in a bit. Okay, we are a mile away from where we need to be in uh, in Bista, and as you can tell, it's got quite dark. <laughs> I got dark well quick. It said uh, I always check to see when sunset's going to be, and it said sunset was going to be at four o'clock, and it's like ten past four now, and it's like almost pitch black. Like it's got dark quick. Normally, you've got like a good half an hour before it goes dark. 
never mind. Uh, yeah, so this is the moment of truth in a moment. Or, yeah, in, this is the moment of truth in a moment <laughs> when we uh, get there to find out whether we can actually get into the site or whether we'll be uh, putting it outside like we did last time. Just got to go up here and take a left. I'm hoping we can get into sight. Make my life so much easier. Because I was just panicking last time about blocking that all off. Like, you don't want HDV drivers pulling in and then realizing they can't get fuel because <laughs> they can't get back out either. Not unless it's really quiet and they can spin around. So yeah, hopefully we can get let in. We've then got to go and get that tractor. So that'll be fun. Hoping we'll be done by eight o'clock tonight, fingers crossed. But uh, we won't know until, uh, until we leave Endbourne where we're dropping the tractor off. So just, uh, just a case of waiting, waiting to see. Uh, I keep getting asked when are you going to be there, when are you going to be here and it's like mate I'll just be there when I am, like what can I say, I'll be there when I am, right I see machinery open, like, uh, machinery, machinery is on over there so hopefully the site's open, it does say that Kingsmere, C for construction in, yeah, so this is where I dumped it, sorry not dumped, um, placed it on the left here last time can't say that. <laughs> uh, right. Is there security here or? I'm probably just gonna place it somewhere near here. Oh man, what do I do? Yeah, if I can reverse it up there, I will. Place it outside those houses. Wouldn't expect it to be this tight up here. It's a lot tighter than I was expecting. barrier right there that's gonna cock up my swing we're all right we're good straighten up we're gonna hit the curb lovely jubbly back round again So if I just get over as tight as I can to one side on this road here, should be okay. It's a bin wagon up there. Just lost it a little bit then. Straight up a bit. I think someone's coming over to me as well now, so I might have to go and see them. Right, let's get this off. See you in a bit. Okay. That's done. Ugh. Got to try and get out of here now. Let's put the destination in where we're going next. Uh, Long Ford. Yeah, Long Ford Park. Ah, these lights just turned on. Okay, let's go. Just waiting for that man to get out of the way. Oh, gonna be there just after five, so we might get caught in a bit of traffic. Which is not ideal. You arrive at your destination. 
just get around here. They close that off now, look. Which is the way I went in. Stop and give way to traffic entering garage and HTV parking area, okay? Okay, I didn't stop, so what? <laughs> anyway, let's crack on to our next destination and uh, go get a tractor loaded. Now this tractor, um, I think I can film. But yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure I can film the tractor, so uh, we'll see what I can get out of that. But in the meantime, let's make our way there. All right, so we're in Banbury. Just come up the top of a relatively long hill. And uh, we're uh, just a mile away or so from the site now. I'm a little bit worried that I'm going into a residential way because he said go up to the school. I don't know how complete the school is. He said park outside the school and the tractor is will be then just behind me. So A, I'm worried about whether I'm driving through a housing estate to get there. And B, I'm not sure I'm turning around. <laughs> These are all problems that you gotta face with. Face, yeah, face and deal with, that's the one. Ah, uh, never mind. All right, lights are turning red. Ours are green, let's go, go, go. Yours are red, mate. I wouldn't go about you. Left is green only. I'm feeling generous. Normally when I flash, it makes uh, cars the other side stop as well. You know, I've let one out, I didn't have to, but I did. Um, I'm hoping by the time I get strapped up and we leave here, most of this traffic's going to be gone. It's currently um, nearly quarter past five, so rush hour traffic is just, a, just about starting really. Um, so yeah, left lane goes straight on. No, left lane goes left only. Well, I don't know, does it? It goes straight on. Ah, oh, I'm taking up both lanes. <laughs> Because it's raining, there's like water on the ground and the reflection of the lights is shining up so you can't see the arrows very well. I think it might merge into one lane anyway, I'm not sure. No, there's a sign over there saying left lane left. I'm gonna stay in the right lane. Okay, should be just coming up to it now on the left. Hopefully we don't miss the turn in. <laughs> That'd be one of the last things we want is to miss the turn in. Uh, uh, uh. Gonna go left here, where the cars are going. Please don't be residential. Uh, there was a sign there saying construction traffic with a lorry. Pretty sure it said this way. Sometimes it would say not this way. New roundabout ahead, that's fine. Should be straight over. I'm gonna get wet. Yeah, Longfield Park, look, sail straight over. Car the bikes. Off you go, mate. Oh, come on, you slow, slowed right down. Come on, let's go. Move it, move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Right, we are now in a residential, well, actually, it's not that residential, but we're in a construction site, so beacons are going on. Let traffic know that I'm a lorry. That was an unexpected bump. I am seriously worried about where I'm going to turn around. Uh, yeah, this is a residential street. <laughs> there are cars parked outside. Mate, where am I going to turn around? We might go to turn around in there. Although it will be tight. And also a long reverse up. What about this one? Uh, I could 
Yeah, I could definitely reverse an air if I had to. We're making a lot of noise. Could possibly reverse up here, drive in there, then reverse back out. That's one option. Uh, there's people living in these houses. I'm sure that sign said construction, construction traffic this way. Oh man, I'm seriously starting to worry about when I turn around. It's a bit of a long reverse in the dark. Windy roads all the way back there. into there potentially okay apparently the tractors on the left down here down there so I need to pull up somewhere here oh well, I don't know why you're stopping mate I just flashed you come on I left room for that vehicle in the label to get out if it needs to. Uh, we're going to have to stop here. Right, light's going off. I need to scout up ahead, see if there's anywhere to turn around. Potentially one turning up there. Potentially a way out as well, I'm not sure. But we'll see. See you in a bit. Right, we're done. That's a bit of a ball lake, but it's done. Uh, I ended up having to turn around face outwards, ready to go, and uh, drive the tractor out towards me. Just gonna pick up this sign that I had out. So yeah, here we go. This is the truck. And uh, not just a tractor, but a tractor with a trailer. So uh, yeah. That's on, ready to go. So yeah, let's get a move on. Right, so the situation with the tractor uh, is that when I went and collected it, I was told I needed to reverse it on. Um, so yeah, I, I briefly explained earlier, I had to go turn around the lorry. Uh, reason being is because I went past where I needed to be, because that's where I was told to go. And I was told to drive the tractor out, turn right, reverse it on up sounds simple. I was also told it had an attachable, uh, I had an attachment on the back that lifted up. Um, so I thought no big deal. But when I got there, it was actually a bloody trailer on top, right behind the tractor. So I was like, all right, okay. So, okay. <laughs> and um, upon trying to reverse, I could see nothing. I literally could not see what was behind me. And I was in a res residential street, it was dark, it was raining, there was stuff like stuff all over the mirrors. I tried cleaning the mirrors, I still couldn't see anything. So, I'll be honest with you, I nearly, damn right, denied the delivery, I denied the collection. I tried phoning my boss. Uh, he hasn't answered, he actually still hasn't answered. <laughs> I phoned him six times. Uh, something must be up. But I was going to tell him I ain't doing it. And then I, then I phoned the guy we're doing the work for. And he said, turn the truck around and drive it on. And then he'd meet me at the other place because I've refused to drive to reverse it off. I can't see. I just can't see anything. I'm not doing it by myself. It's, if, I, if, I, if it comes off, not only am I going to hurt myself, I could hurt someone else and causing a lot of damage. I ain't doing it. So I've denied, or refused rather, to reverse the thing. I've driven it on, I've trained it up, that's it. If he wants it off, he's doing it or someone else is doing it, I'm, I'm not, so. The plan is he's gonna meet me at the place where we're uh, delivering it. So uh, fingers crossed he'll be there when we get there. I need to, I need to call him in a sec, just give him my, an up-to-date up to ETA. <laughs> but yes, a little bit frustrating actually. I was this close to just putting the ramps up and going. Uh, 
as mentioned earlier, I, I just don't want to do the low loader work. I've asked to come off. Nothing's been given to me. That's why I'm leaving. So, and the fact I'm still doing the low loader work is just, just really annoying. Especially when it's something like this, when I can't see what I'm doing and there's no one there to help me. So, never mind. There's people watching out the curtains and everything, man. Like, it's just embarrassing, do you know what I mean? So yeah, no, I, I'm looking forward to leaving. Just gonna keep on being like this. So I'm grateful for the opportunity that was given to me. I really am. But at the same time, I'm fed up with the unpred, I just say it, unpredictable, un, yeah, unpredictable pickups. <laughs> like I know trucking isn't like easy. There's, there's hiccups along the way. I know that. God, I know that. But it just seems like every day, with the low loader work in particular, something goes wrong, everything changes. There's uh, if you're just never given the correct details on where to go, where to pick it up, where to drop it off. I've been told off. I've had one of the guys, um, the machinery, one of the guys who owns the machinery, I had him phone my mobile, telling me that I need to get back up to where I just was to move the machinery because it's in the wrong place. I said, I said, good luck, mate. I'm three hours away. I said, I ain't getting there tonight. No chance. I ain't got enough time, even if I wanted to. Uh, <laughs> which I don't think he liked. Um, and he was like, effing and blinding that the machinery was in the wrong place. And I've got a photo. I, whether I put it up now or not, I don't know. But it was in a safe place. I was accused of putting it on grass. I was accused of blocking someone's driveway. And it's like, with, with this job, you they, there's no paperwork. No one signs for anything. You just pick it up, you drop it off. All I do is take photographs to say that I've dropped it off. And I try and take photographs when it's on the truck as well, if I'm not in too much of a rush. I don't know. But yeah, no, tonight, I don't know what the situation is tonight because they want me in a certain place tomorrow at a certain time. Um, and that ain't gonna happen because I'm gonna be finishing late tonight, later than I predicted. So with my minimum nine hour rest, which, by the way, will be my third nine-hour rest in a row. Um, I, yeah, even with a reduced rest, I'm not going to make it there on time. So, and I need to stop and get fuel at some point. The fuel light is now on, so I'm probably going to have to get some fuel on the way back to the yard. And I probably won't finish until about 10 p.m. Um, well then, there we go. Probably won't finish until about 10 p.m. 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I can't start until 7 a.m. And I, they want me uh, an, they want me an hour away from my yard at half seven. So and the, the earliest I'm going to be there is quarter nine. If I start work at seven, 15 minute daily check, it's quarter past seven. No, quarter past eight. Yeah, my maths is not good. I'll be there about quarter past eight, minimum. So I'm still going to be 45 minutes to an hour late, at least. Never mind. Yeah, this this close to just putting the ramps off and going and, and not even not even bothering doing it, just dumping it there and be like, right, that's it, it's fine, someone else to do it, I ain't doing it. I've got four more days after today and then I, and then I leave. Better start applying for some jobs, because <laughs> I ain't got anything yet. Never mind. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so getting closer. It's a bit flooded here. Jesus. That is definitely flooded. Yeah, we're nearly here. Just got to wait for the bloke to turn up. He said he's going to be a little bit behind. So um, there is a car behind me now, but I don't think that's him. I mean, it might be, but I don't think it is. Uh, yeah, we're just going to put up outside the gate and then uh, undo the, the ramp, put the triangle out again so people know it's down and uh, just wait for the bloke to turn up. It's quarter to eight now. So I suppose I'll have to let you know when we leave. Once we actually leave. <laughs> um, getting out of this place is fun. I've got to drive down into, I'll make a left turn into a weight limited area and then reverse out. Uh, it's very tight. I don't think you're going to see much in the dark, but we'll, uh, we'll give it a shot. So it's, it's a side-sided reverse, so it should be okay. 
we'll, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, that car's still behind me. And then the lights up there is where we're stopping. So we'll just get a little bit closer and then we'll put our beacons on just to let them know that we're stopping. You can drive straight into this place, but um, it's very tight getting back out and it's a blind side reverse. So I'd rather just stay outside on the road and then do the, the dangerous sight side reverse. At least then I can see, but it's dangerous either way. There's two cars driving now. Um, not dangerous, but it's just like not easy either way. But um, I'd rather be able to see a little bit than see nothing, do you know what I mean? So that is what we're gonna do. All right, it's just up here. We've got to stop a little bit further on this dark country lane. <laughs> Enborn. Okay, I'm putting my beacons on now because we're stopping here. Hazards on and pull far enough forward that we can get the ramps down. To top I didn't say anything to you. <laughs> right, we're going to stop here. Mirrors in, headlights off. Is that a car going round? Yeah, both cars are going past, so neither of them were, were him. Right, uh, let's uh, let's get the ramps down. Right, we're done. It's 25 past eight. And uh, this is the guy that was on leading me. Oh. Actually, tell, him, tell, the, uh, tell the truth. I actually unloaded myself and he watched. He wanted me to do it myself. Um, so he said instead of turning around, because I'd turn around here, instead of turning around, he said follow him. So that's what we're doing now. But uh, I'm really sorry, I'm gonna have to turn uh, this light off just so I can see the lanes, because they're quite tight, I think. <laughs> All right, mate, you said follow you. You're like, let me catch up. <laughs> Oh dear, dear, dear. He's, uh... You can't see me, so I do apologise, but he was just giving me like a pet talk about how I could do the job if I had the confidence to do the job and all blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I've got confidence, it's just fed up with doing it, mate. I don't want to do the low load of work. The low load of work itself is all right, I just, I just don't want to do it. Never mind. Anyway, it's uh, it's nearly half past eight, and uh, we've got to go get some fuel yet as well. We ain't going to be back in the yard until ten o'clock, which means I can't start until seven a.m. tomorrow, which he's aware. So that's good, and uh, I know roughly what I'm doing tomorrow as well. So happy days. So yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here because you can't see me, so I might as well end the vlog. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I just turn it on quickly. Say bye. Thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. Uh, and until next time, drive safe. Instead of messing around with lights. <laughs> and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Hello everyone, welcome. Um, this is my current channel supporters at the moment. I just wanted to say a quick thank you to each and every single one of them individually. So thank you, Jack Forrest. Unknown channel, I don't know who you are. It says it won't load your channel name up, but uh, you are also a channel supporter. George Brown, DLW, PRO, NL, Craig Pernell, James R, Adrian Money, Luke Sanders, Stephen Mitchell, Nessa Trucker UK, who also has a truck vlogger um, on, on uh, YouTube, go check her out. Jordan Harris, Anthony Garden, Steve Bennett, Flying Scotsman, Aaron Hawkins, Craig Byers, Jamie Lalliott, Simon Cornwall, Jay Buckle, E-M-I-E-L-T-J-U-U-U-U-H, Stephen Barrett, Andrea and Josh Baguette, Katie Ducher and James Beeson. I just want to say a quick thank you to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much. It means so much to me that you uh, support my channel like you do. So a uh, big massive thanks and shout out to all you guys. And if you want to become a channel supporter and you want your name on the end of the video just like this, click the link down below and uh, it'll take you to the necessary page. 
thank you once again everyone thanks for watching do appreciate it hope you have a fantastic day fantastic christmas and a fantastic new year and i will see you soon bye bye